ladies, buckle up because you need to get ready for a wild ride into the world of AI and writing. As the technology advances, there's more questions now than ever. Talking about Chat GPT now, everywhere I go, people are talking about Chat GPT, and the question on everyone's mind is: How will this robot replaces our job in copywriting, or perhaps helping the coaches in creating more content? And how would it impact our coaching industry? Now, if this is a topic that you're interested. Stay tuned, and I will be right back. If you are new to me, my name is Michelle, and I am a visibility and marketing coach for women coaches who. Teach women coaches to use the power of storytelling so that they can get seen, get heard, and get hired. I'm an international speaker and author, and on this channel, you're going to hear a lot of how I empower heart-centered, introverted women coaches who's looking to grow and scale their coaching business with storytelling marketing, with the strategies that actually work. Now, there's a lot of us who are going out there and doing the busy work. Simply, we're doing the busy work, and there's so much of passion and love for coaching, but we just don't know how to turn it into a profitable business by increasing your visibility to profitability without sacrificing your uniqueness. And sacrificing your time, I cover a lot of topic on branding, storytelling, and marketing with tips and strategies so that you can get more clients and have more time and freedom to actually do what you love to do and making bigger impact. If this sounds like you and someone that you know can benefit from watching this episode, then please. Invite them and also hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my upcoming episode. All right, today we are talking about a really hot topic called artificial intelligence. Everywhere I go, well, I don't have a big circle. All my circles are coaches, so everywhere I go, I hear and see coaches talking about this amazing tool, ChatGPT. A couple of weeks ago, I actually. Hosted a、uh, podcast episode, and I actually spoke to a lot of my community members inside the Get Clients with Storytelling community, and I gave them a topic and demonstration on how to use GPT and how you can actually incorporate this tool into your coaching business so that it can actually alleviate a lot of that content and writer blocks. Let's face it: you are a coach, you're not a copywriter, and so if you are still in the beginning of stage of trying to scale and grow your business, you may not have the resource to actually outsource this task to a copywriter. Now, for the last five years, I do write my own content, I write my own copies, and it wasn't until a little towards mid last year I started to incorporate a copy. Editor who help me edit my copies. Now there's a difference between copywriters and co editors. Where copywriter, you can outsource the task to them, and they'll pretty much you know write for you if you outsource that task to them. My editor, however, is in charge of editing my copies so that it flows better. And there's less spelling error, which I am notorious for having spelling errors and grammar error. In order to advance and take my business to the next level, I needed someone to go through my copy, make sure that it's error-free and spelling-free. Because even now, I still catch myself missing the s here or the grammar isn't right, plural, singular. I could never get it straight right, and so I need an additional. Uh, asset to my business to help me to tighten that up a little bit. So I, I added an editor on my team. But prior to that, I was just doing every copywriting myself, which is to many people is、uh, surprising to hear because they thought that I have a copywriter on my team, and which I don't. I am my copywriter, and for the longest time, this is something that I enjoy doing. And I was actually just talking to a copywriter. And she suggested, "Why not outsourcing it to a copywriter?" 
And I have this thing about letting that task go. It's not because of the fear. I am not afraid of delegating tasks to my team members, but I do enjoy writing. I've been a blogger for the longest time, even before I became a coach. And so writing has been always something that I enjoy. It feels like meditation to me. As you're putting your thoughts onto a computer or onto a piece of paper, there's meditation that comes by just writing it down. And now I'm getting the certification in copywriting. So even that is very enjoyable. I find it very uplifting. And, and one of the things that they teach us in the copywriting school is that you want to have paper and pen. Why? Because when you have paper and pen, it actually helps to process your thoughts and to look at whether or not what you have written down makes sense. And there's so much of idea, there's magic when you bring pen to a piece of paper. Think about keep writing, right? Why do we journal so much? It's because that we enjoy that process of putting something down onto a piece of paper. So now that we have the GPT, we have artificial intelligence, which is not new, right? Let's face it, it's not a new tools that's available out there. There's a lot of different platforms that's already built using artificial intelligence, like Jasper has been out for years. And I've been using Jasper to double check myself, double check my SEO and all these copy that I have created. And there's also the Word Hero. Word Hero has been out similarly. It works on artificial intelligence. It pulls all these data from internet and it populates it for you. So it's not something new, but somehow when we repackage something, it becomes whole, a whole new excitement. <laughs> the coaching world is jumping into, oh my gosh, this is like revolutionary. But in reality, it's not really something new. So how does this artificial intelligence going to impact the coaching industry. When there's a lot of coaches are talking about chat GPT, why? Because content creation has always been the number one struggle for a lot of coaches, especially for the newer coaches who's coming out. You may not have that writing skills and writing is one of the skills I believe every coach should have. And there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to have to write, right? You're not just your own copy, your own social media copy. You have to write your website. You have to write your service page. You have to write, like, there's a lot of, even if you create a course or a program, you have to write your own content. So content and writing, it's one of the skills that coaches need to have. Now, you may think, well, let me just outsource it to someone else. It's easy to say than done, right? The quality of the work, you need to make sure that the quality of the work is there. And you also need to make sure that whoever you're working with can actually mimic your voice. And each one of us are so different. And the way that I talk on podcasts and versus the way that I talk on the emails, it needs to be cohesive. It needs to match across the board. So if you don't have someone who you can outsource on a consistent base, then you keep changing that voice depending on who you work with. Sometimes it's more masculine, sometimes it's more forced, sometimes it's more harsh. So your quality of the work, people can see it and it comes through by the content that you're creating. Outsourcing is great, but if you're still new and you want to outsource that, it becomes an additional task that you would need to be aware of and know what you're doing in order to outsource it. So it's not something that a lot of my audience would be able to focus on. They won't be able to, number one, they don't have the resource to outsource to somebody. They're still trying to grow their coaching business. So they don't have a lot of clients and that financial stress is still there, right? I can't spend more before I actually get more. So how do you balance that? <laughs> this is why I created a live training on this topic. So if you're interested, drop in the comment, let me know. I will invite you to my community so that you can watch that replay. So can you do? If you were to use AI as a tool to help you to brainstorm, which is great, right? It's a great tool that you can use to brainstorm your idea, help you to map out some of the talking points. Like this episode, you know, I asked ChatGPT to map out a couple of talking points. 
But then it's up to you to decide what is relevant to your audience and what is not. It's a robot. Robot is going to give you a lot of information. And through that information, it's up to you as a human being to actually decipher what is relevant information to bring to my audience. So despite the fact that you have the AI as a tool and it can write pretty well for you, but it cannot replace the human quality behind it. And I was talking to one of my clients actually texted me after I showed her the chat GPT and she loved, and she's writing a book. She enjoys writing, but it's always been a struggle for her to show up on social media consistently because there's so many ideas that's running through her head. And this is really true for a lot of coaches. You have so many ideas coming through your head, but you're not exactly sure which one to use, which one to write about and which one would be good. And so it helps to have a tool like this to be able to ask it, hey, uh, can you write me a social media post on the topic of imposter syndrome? And it's going to help you to map out some of the key points, imposter syndrome, what would be important to share, what would be the outline of it? And from that, you would be able to incorporate it into your own, personalize it and customize it to what you want to say. And there's a lot of information that it's providing. It may not be relevant at all to your, what you're doing in your coaching business. When she texted me, she's like, oh my gosh, thank you, Michelle. It's, this is like heaven. This is one of the things it's like having a personal copywriter without having a personal copywriter. And so it helps her a lot just by addressing the burden and the overwhelm from creating content. And so now she's able to produce content. She's able to write more. She's able to go onto the video and start recording and doing what she actually enjoy doing. I believe that AI, the artificial intelligence, is going to help addressing a lot of these overwhelming feelings so that you can focus on what you love to do coaching, creating content, showing up on social media, creating more videos so that you can spread your word out. Now, here's what I personally believe that artificial intelligence cannot replace. It cannot replace your story. I can go on and, and talk about what is imposter syndrome, but there's that level of personal touch where your story is going to differentiate and position you as someone who is different from everyone else who's using ChatGPT. I can go into the ChatGPT and say, can you tell me a story about Michelle Quay? It's going to probably pull information from my website, right? Because it's searching like the whole entire database that's out there. So it's probably going to pull a lot of information from my website, but it's missing that personal touch about who you are, what you believe in, and who do you help. And so it, there's that human level that it will never be able to replace. So when you think about outsourcing to artificial intelligence or whether to a copywriter, what you are missing is that personal touch to bring in your story into everything that you do in your business. And that is what makes you successful. Okay, so my closing thoughts is that while this artificial intelligence, ChatGPT, Jasper, and Word Hero, all these copywriting artificial intelligence are great, but it will never be able to replace that human touch of when you infuse your copies or infuse your social media presence with your personal touch, with your personality, it will never be able to replace that. And it will never be able to mimic the voice that you bring in, whether it is a camera, whether it is on a podcast or the way that you write in the blog post, it's never going to replace that fact that there is a human behind your coaching business. I hope this will give you an idea of how you want to incorporate that artificial intelligence. While it is a big and viral topic right now, and a lot of coaches are talking about it, I hope that I am able to remind you that your story matter and your voice matters as well. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.